Welcome to Vigress. Today we discuss about how to ECG lead positioning. The ECG is one of the most useful investigations in medicine. Electrodes attached to the chest and or limbs record small voltage changes as potential difference, which is transposed into a visual tracing. 3 Electrode System Uses 3 electrodes, RA, LA and LL monitor displays the bipolar leads, 1, 2 and 3 to get best results. Place electrodes on the chest wall equidistant from the heart, rather than the specific limbs. 5 Electrode System Uses 5 electrodes, RA, RL, LA, LL and chest monitor displays the bipolar leads, 1, 2 and 3 and a single unipolar lead, depending on position of the brown chest lead, positions V16. 12 lead ECG. 10 electrodes required to produce 12 lead ECG 4 electrodes on all 4 limbs, RA, LL, LA, RL 6 electrodes on precordium. V16 monitors 12 leads, V16, 1, 2, 3, and, AVR, up, AV allows interpretation of specific areas of the heart. Inferior, 2, 3, upper lateral, I, AV, V5, V6 anterior, V1, 4, 12 lead precordial lead placement. V1, 4th intercostal space, ICS, right margin of the sternum. V2, 4th ICS along the left margin of the sternum. V4, 5th ICS, mid-clavicular line. V3, midway between V2 and V4. V5, 5th ICS, anterior axillary line, same level as V4, V6, 5th ICS, mid-axillary line, same level as V4. Additional lead placements. Right-sided ECG electrode placement. There are several approaches to recording a right-sided ECG. A complete set of right-sided leads is obtained by placing leads V16 in a mirror image position on the right side of the chest. See diagram, below. It can be simpler to leave V1 and V2 in their usual positions and just transfer leads V36 to the right side of the chest, i.e. where to V6 are. The most useful lead is V4R, which is obtained by placing the V4 electrode in the fifth right intercostal space in the mid-clavicular line. ST elevation in V4R has a sensitivity of 88%, specificity of 78% and diagnostic accuracy of 83% in the diagnosis of RVME. See inferior steamy V4R ECG lead placement. V4R ECG lead placement. Ehart et al. first described the use of a right-sided precordial lead, CR4R or V4R, in the diagnosis of right ventricular infarction which had previously been thought to be electrocardiographically silent. Single right-sided precordial lead in the diagnosis of right ventricular involvement in inferior myocardial infarction. M. Hart J. 1976. Posterior Leads Leads V79 are placed on the posterior chest wall in the following positions. V7, left posterior axillary line, in the same horizontal plane as V6. V8, tip of the left scapula, in the same horizontal plane as V6. V9, left paraspinal region, in the same horizontal plane as V6. Lewis lead, S5 lead. The Lewis lead configuration can help to detect atrial activity and its relationship to ventricular activity. Named after Welsh cardiologist Sir Thomas Lewis, 1881-1945, who first described in 1913. Useful in Observing flutter waves in atrial flutter Detecting P waves in wide complex tachyrrhythmia to identify atrioventricular dissociation Lewis lead placement Right arm, RA, electrode on manubrium. Left arm, LA, electrode over 5th ICS, right sternal border. Left leg, LL, electrode over right lower costal margin. Monitor lead I. Fontaine leads. Fontaine bipolar precordial leads, FECG, are used to increase the sensitivity of epsilon wave detection. 
named after French cardiologist and electrophysiologist Guy Hughes Fontaine, 1936-2018, leads are placed as shown. Right arm, RA, over the manubrium. Left arm, LA, over the xiphoid process. And left leg, LL, in the standard V4 position, 5th high CSMCA, instead of regular leads 1, 2, and 3 there are now 3 bipolar chest leads that are termed phi, phi, and phi which record the potentials developed in the right ventricle, from the infundibulum to the diaphragm. The vertical bipolar lead phi, similar to up, magnifies the atrial potentials and can be used to record epsilon waves. Search for AV dissociation in ventricular tachycardia and to study abnormal atrial rhythms when the P waves are too small on regular leads. For proper lead placement, clean the areas where the electrodes will be attached to ensure good skin contact. Ensure that electrodes are firmly attached to the skin. Avoid placing electrodes over bony prominences, as it may cause artifact or discomfort. Confirm proper placement by checking for characteristic waveforms and intervals on the ECG monitor.